Welcome to the Whiskey Ball. I'm Daniel. I am Ryan. We've got quite the lineup today. Oh, yes. Whoa, that's that's different. What the hell? Someone cleaned a specialty glass. Okay. Um, it looked close to a Glencairn, but it had like a little stem. Yeah, that's an SMWS bottle or uh, glass. Okay, so uh, so this is, is a whole lineup from Neil Charlton. So it must be your turn. Uh, no, no, if I did it last time. If, oh, did you? Yeah, I did it in one breath with expression too. So I should have just let you blow past it. Yeah. Instead of calling you on it. Yeah. Congratulations, you. Let's see if we can do it together. You made yourself. Yours is different though. You know, Mark? You have different. I love it. But you don't say the same thing. Welcome to Rare Whiskey Friday. We're going to go through and sample a few whiskeys. Some are large brands. More often than not, they are small craft distilleries without a large amount of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to get your hands on one of these bottles, you're welcome to the review. And thank you to the magnificent bastards that sent it in. That was clean. I got a little nasally in the end. That's clean. It's clean. He didn't take a breath. He paused. Yeah. Didn't breathe in. No. Nope. I was there. Didn't <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's clean. This is all from Neil Charlton. Neil Charlton, you magnificent bastard. There's another bottle too, but it's still Neil. So okay. this is kind of cool. I'm excited about this. So this is um, Adnams in yep. South, uh, in England. England. This, this is. I think, if I'm getting this right, I looked these guys up. Okay. And they run hotels, and they make beer, okay. and they make spirits, and they yep. do all kinds of stuff. It reminds me of McMinimins uh, in great. Port in the Northwest, you know right? What? Where McMinimins is a big brand with a whole bunch of bars and restaurants and retail, but they also have whiskey that they've partnered in distilling. I'm gonna start with you right now. I'm already annoyed by them. Because brilliant business model. Hold on. I'm already super annoyed because as tired and exhausted and, you know, just, just weak in the knees with all the stuff we have to do mm -hmm. with, you know, as we are the academy and the distillery and the content and things for them to do not only hotels, well, what, what, what? hundreds of staff members, hold on, hold on. but how do you think you get there? Hard you strap work. on, you strap on the bingus and go full the bingo. Uh, and I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not that's my. All right, that's fair. It's my secret to business success. It's strap on, on the babingus and go, go full babingo. <laughs> that's that's the name of your new book. So we can't even keep up with our only piddly little our little yeah. this is tiny little nothing. And then they're like kings of hoteling. And beering and whiskey and beering. We'll see. We'll you see. verb a lot of things that aren't meant to be. Okay, so this is kind of cool. We're gonna get to a couple things I'm very excited about. Yes. But we're gonna start with the classic single malt. Okay. Which is East Anglian malted barley. Real, real quick, these are different enough so we don't have to A B. They stand on their own as a. Yeah. Okay. In theory, in five years in new French oak. New oak. Okay. I, and that's what the thing is. I don't know if they mean really new, like truly unused. Yeah, once you get on the other I side. But I think they do. Okay. Once you get on the other side of the pond, as they say, they will often say first fill. Yeah, but they're not saying first fill. It says new French oak. Okay. I think it might be. Because over there, when they say first fill, used they barrel. usually mean it's first fill after it's been used by bourbon or something else. Whenever they mean new barrel, they will say virgin. Yeah, virgin yeah. Virgin oak. They didn't say virgin. They said new. Okay. That leads you me. Ready? That leads me to believe in virgin. Okay. That is. Ooh, that is very dirt. interesting. I like the barley. Seems kind of. It's rich and present and agricultural, but there's also a sweet fruitiness. And there's also a lemon note, a slightly citrusy direction. Okay. It's very light fruit. I grape like grape and. Uh, I gotta tell you, I really like the nose. Me too. Yeah. Ha! Huh. This yeah. is cool. Oh, that's good. Apricot. Dried apricots. I used to get them uh, when we used to go do uh, in the bag at HEB, go rock climbing. We'd bring dried apricots, mm -hmm. bananas, and, and strangely, lemon pound cake. Uh, I don't know why we always did that, but we did. Okay. Oh, there's nothing to that palate. They watered it down so low. Damn it. The nose was really cool. Oh, it 40%. I'm not, not going to say nothing, but to your point, it is a proof super where thin. you know this is 
more proof down than what the whiskey wants to be. Yeah, the nose was so interesting, but that palate is just a caramely that said, gumdrop. The finish does linger longer than that palate should allow for. Mm -hmm. Like it Remember, stays it's rare whiskey you. Friday. Ah! Ah! Now, I gotta say. I'm gonna go once more. That's a good budget malt. That's what it tastes like. Okay. It tastes like a decent budget malt. Okay. But quality. A nice, yeah, a nice. Yeah. You're not, you're not tickling, not, you're not tickling a hundy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no. But not like, I mean, not like McClellan's cheap. Right. But like, you know, it's like, like 30, 30, 35, 40, 35, 30 40 bucks. bucks, 35, 40 bucks. I would say 35, 40 Okay. Bucks. I want to try their triple malt, 47% whiskey, because this one, oh, no, this is the one that's new oak. It's, it's honey. No, no, barley, it's the same. Bar, I'm still on the first one. Okay. It's, um, honey, sweet, creamy. The vanilla shows up on the second or third sip. Yeah. Yeah, so there's some there. Damn it. But you do need to be ready to hunt a little bit for the la for the layers, for the flavors. I wouldn't say budget. I would say it's it's, it's that it, it's that got almost me. it's arguably mid tier. Mm-hmm. Not bottom shelf. Arguably there. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's that musty barley note. Okay. This is their triple malt. This is new American oak aged. New American oak. Ooh, that is musty. German chocolate cake. But with this like metallic vanilla note. Yeah. And then I get a, a bit more wood char in there than I was expecting. Like the barrel does show up. This is wheat, barley, and oat. The grains. This is not just barley. Mm -hmm. Wheat, barley, and oats. So Evidently all malted. They are meaningfully different from each other. This is a different animal. Deserves, oh yeah. It deserves to be a separate bottling. Again, it's 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 not jumping out of the glass on either Ooh. of these. It's not jumping out of the glass on either of these on the nose. On the taste, though, does it show up more? Is what you're Try saying? Try it, though. This is the palate that I wanted on the first one. Chocolatey and fruity. Oh, okay. And nice and soft. Yeah. And ah, uh, it's um, sweet and oaty. And then you have like this um, fruity. It was like a strawberries and mm -hmm. cream. Yep. Strawberries and cream. Berries and cream. Yeah. That's very cool. Oh, the finish though. Yeah. I'm loving the finish. Right? Yeah. Okay. It actually just gets more and more Keeps nice. Going. Yeah. All right, jumping ahead. The longer that it finishes. <laughs> this is... Man. I know. Man. This is their rye malt. Okay. How this, is that different than... If I'm a, looking at it correctly... How is it different than just a malt or how is it different than just a rye? From what they said... Well, malted rye. Like they malted the grains, right? Right. So, uh, new French oak, in theory, So the, the reason why meets, I'm clarifying that is yeah. because whenever people say malt, it's often shorthand for malted barley. barley. Yeah. But this is rye malt, so it's the malting process applied to rye. The, in theory, this meets the definition of an American rye. If it really is new French oak and rye grain, in theory, it's 75% rye, 25% barley. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of like that... <sighs> You know that Sprite, that zesty yeah. Sprite or note? Almost 7 up. That, that yeah. clear cola soda type of note? That's the sparkle is really light and the vanilla cream is high. Like sugary and sparkly. Yeah, and they get that vanilla cream note on all three of these. Ooh, there's the rye. It's oh. in the palate. Ooh, Ooh that's way nice more in the palette, too. Yeah. Okay. That's a soft vanilla cream rye uh, spice note. This has more flavor of any of the three so far. I think all three yes. of these, all three of these, you kind of need to be hunting a bit on the glass. But my favorite was... But once you start tasting, the first one was like, ah, it feels like it wants to give you more. The second one, was that the double babingus? The, the triple malt. Triple malt. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's move on. Welcome to the Set whiskey Set them aside. Yeah. We're doing a last one yes. from Neil, okay. and I am very excited uh, about this one. So I do want to give the credit to the rye, Adams. though. The, the, rye. Malted, the malted rye yeah. is lovely. This would stand up to that limousine rye that we had the other day. It's just a good rye. Mm. Well done, guys. Oh, and it's also has um, like a tea note where you went pretty hefty with the honey and the lemon. Mm -hmm. Tea, lots of honey, lots of lemon. Move your glasses. They're in the way. Hey. This is an English distillery also. Yes. The English... Ah, single malt whiskey. This is James Nelstrup was like, hey, wait a minute. How come there's not an English whiskey distillery? 
We got Ireland, Scotland. Is this also from Babingus? Yeah. Okay. And uh, Babingus Harris. So we've tried these guys before. Thanks. They do a single malt, a peated malt, and blah. Yeah. This is a single cask, 60 ppm peated, triple distilled refilled bourbon release. It's just a lot of words. Yeah, but I have very light color. Really liked these guys when I've tried them before. The English Whiskey Company. Didn't you sign up St. for St. George's Distillery? Didn't you sign up for a Babingus to get something? Yeah, but it wasn't these guys. But I have introduced mm. more people to this whiskey. As a matter of fact, hanging out, uh, anytime I'm at a bar and they have the English whiskey, right. I'm always like, all right, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try this English whiskey. I have probably turned 20, 30 people into this distillery. Have you smelled this yet? Ooh, peated. Yeah, it is. But it's briny and it's light and it's a soft touch. This is like See, island peat. This is a bright, yeah. It's a bright, this is like lively. Talisker direction. Yeah, the brininess. I'm on the sea. Not C. quite Laphroaig. I'm on the sea. Yeah, but it's not as dark and mossy as Laphroaig. Yeah, yeah. Right? Or Ardbeg. Yeah. The the island peatiness. Maybe Legig. It could be Legig. Oh, I like it though. But it's very light and vin and fr uh, friendly. 49.8%. Okay. All right, let's see. Oh, it's such a soft peat presentation. Yeah. That would be a great introduction to peat. So... The softness, I don't think means a subdued flavor. Mm -mm. The softness comes from a texture of that 50%. Yeah, it's not spiky. Proof, it, it does not throw a single elbow. Mm -mm. This falls very flush and softly on the palate with a wellspring of wow. briny, peaty goodness. This is very Ooh. and it fish, well like, done. It eventually gets to a nuttiness if you mm -hmm. just keep yammering on and don't take another sip, as I do. Ooh. Oh. You it's, see why I keep recommending these guys? It's so good. Yeah. Did you say there is an age statement on this? No. Okay. But mm. here we go. It is 11 years old. What? Yeah. Wow. Filled on 2010 and bottled on 2021. This, oh, I'm almost 11. It's 10 and a half. This uh, distillery has been around longer than I than mm. I anticipated. Yeah. I thought they were like five or six years old. Oh no. Oh. Oh, it's 2005. Okay. Man. Oh, so like, uh, in the oh, it's biting around the sides now. Mm. My tongue's going a little numb. I like that a lot. That's good. That's nice. All right. Okay. So if I'm finding things that I wish were different, right? I wish because this is bright and lively and fresh, briny, salty peat. Mm -hmm. But if there's something that I often enjoy in your peaty or scotches right. that I don't find in, in this is that middle core, thick, hefty body. Yeah, of there's flavor. no middle palate yeah. or base notes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all high mids to highs. Yeah. But what's there is so nicely done that mm -hmm. if you're not really concentrating on what could be different, then you just go, oh, this is, you I, like, I like peat with you. This yeah. is really nice. And, yeah. All but right. The mid palette is just kind of not there, but the, this is it's such beautiful trebles, though, with the trebles. We did it with the trebles. Though, with the treble, trebles, though. Do you know what this does? This goes full of bingo. <laughs> Here's the fighting steel in your drink. <laughs> if you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liberty. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.